What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have some more random NBA basketball hobby packs. In front of us we have almost 30 packs I think and over $2,500 in packs. So very expensive uh, rip we're doing here today but one of my favorites to do get tons of different products and see what we can pull. And uh, we actually have a giveaway going on the channel before we get started. Giving away this exclusive or special uh, Rated Rookie Retro set. So if you want to see this set, go to the most recent mail day, which I'll link in the pinned comment and description, and just uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on, and then on the mail day video, once again, link down below, uh, just comment your favorite card from the set. So really nice set, really happy they made these, and um, yeah, fan of the set they made here. So cool stuff in my opinion, and hopefully you guys you like it too. And if you want to win it, super simple, should be able to enter in less than a minute, and uh, best of luck to you guys on this giveaway there so so always stay tuned for tons of giveaways i try to do as many giveaways as i can and uh hopefully you guys like them so always stay tuned for tons more so today's video a lot of packs here very very expensive one here so uh yeah 2500 plus somewhere around there in packs and we have all these ones on the table here so in the back we have revolution 2021 hobby we have 2021 hoops that's 1415 excalibur this is a court kings box topper so with this is the court kings pack from 1718 so a little bit different from what we know today court kings a little different but still a lot of uh, similarities then we have crown royale first off the line one of my favorites we have a chronicles lucky envelope which is it, it can be really really good and it can be average but i think at, at usually at worst it's kind of just average but they uh, have two cards numbered to eight and a lot of them are rookies then we have three prism first off the line packs 2021 one a uh, cello pack of 2021 prism we have 20 uh, 1920 hoops and uh and that's it so lots to go through and yeah, we just open these packs, see what we can get. So um, let's uh, get started in the background. We got Zion and Luca both from Hoops. So hopefully Hoops has that good luck today. And Pac-Man Cards is the IG where I uh, communicate with you guys, post exclusive, uh, exclusive info, early news, stuff like that. So let's uh, see what order we should go in. We will fold these all up there. That, these little stacks always take uh, forever to make and then I destroy them very fast. But um, we'll do the, let's do this. Do the revolution first why not right i always love ripping revolution love the shininess if you haven't seen um my pax in paradise video the one where we ripped on the volcano in hawaii and pulled that incredible um hit from the i think it was the last pack we ripped but uh yeah that was and a few other ones too so that was pretty good but i actually tried to record two videos not just um on that volcano but in hawaii and i didn't get the second one done it didn't work out so i still have the packs so um if you haven't seen that pax in paradise video probably one of the uh, more, more favorite videos I made on this channel, but and a lot of fun pulled some awesome stuff in that one um, Definitely check it out. But some of the packs from this one and I'll, I'll try to tell you which ones were which I tried to do there and They're really difficult to record. I couldn't get it done there. So we have these packs here And hopefully they have some good stuff. I guess I'm very interested to see what I would have pulled from that uh, from those packs. So we'll do the crown like this that box topper will go before this one. And then the prism here, this one here, and uh, these ones like this. Yeah, so not all of these are from there, but some of them. Uh, I believe it would be the prism, the crown, revolution, maybe a couple others, but yeah, I was really trying to get one done in the OG spot where we first recorded Pax in Paradise a few years ago. And it just didn't work out, unfortunately. So fun about that, but let's see what we got. We can get from these packs what we were supposed to get i guess in that in that one but yeah in terms of videos i try to record those are definitely the most difficult because weather and not just weather but you know finding a good space i uh, can't be you know too loud or else you, know, you can't hear my voice and um you know, i want to find a good good view or a good spot too sometimes you can do it sometimes you can't a john morant sunburst hmm i like that 37 to 75 nice way to start it you two Ja, and then there is a uh, Tail Maladone there, base rookie. So that's one of the ones we would have gotten. Love the Sunburst and I love Ja, of course. So put that there and Maladone can go here. Next one up. Okay, if you have any other recommendations or spots you'd like to see a Pax and Paradise video recorded, let me know and I'll try to see if I can do one there. Definitely have some more plans for fun videos like that one. And not a rookie here. Maybe we can do random hobby packs, packs in paradise, like uh, a big one of these. I did kind of random, it's kind of like a random hobby packs, the packs in paradise one. It was kind of like a mini random hobby packs. Lift off LeBron there and Astro Alonzo. But um, yeah, like a really big one like this, 
Maybe we could do that one day. It would be kind of tough because there's no table, not controlled environment. The wind or the weather can sometimes turn on you in a heartbeat. Sometimes it's worse than wind. Sometimes it rains and all of a sudden, you know, we can't have cards that are soaking wet. We try our best. And there's a MVP, Jokic, Fractal, and then there's a Nuora. There's a Revolution, very, very shiny. And we see these cards here, you know, it's very bright and they look very cool, but, um, I think I agree with a lot of you guys when you said, since it was natural sun kind of shining on these, you don't want to leave them in the sun for too long, but just for a little bit, it doesn't hurt. Um, that natural sunlight on these cards from that video was absolutely incredible. Really made these cards pop. And I think I fell in love with the set even more. There's Jerry and Groove. Looks like these packs were made for me. But this is definitely one of my favorite series to do. I think it's tons of fun having, we have like, what, like maybe at least several different products in this little pile here. But seeing all that variety is always fun and seeing what we can pull. Uh, but this one, Packs in Paradise, um, any new product reviews, I always love doing those. And there's Jaden McDaniels. Cards, cards are fun. I like cards. All right, I don't know how many we have left. I think we have a couple left, a few left. Let's see what we can get. Maybe we can sneak an auto in here. Maybe, maybe not. I want to see something backwards. Saban Lee, Groove, Rookie, and there's a Luca. Luca, he's uh, he's been in the news a little bit. We'll see what happens. I mean, I don't know the, you know, how legit some of these reports are the information that we're receiving, but Luca, Zion, you know, a little bit of a unhappiness from Zion's family, I think it was. Then Luca, I think, was a little bit unhappy with the organization. I don't know. You hear a bunch of reports, but it's very interesting to see that. And we do have a backwards card. So uh, asking you shall receive. There's LeBron, a cool picture of him. And Lonzo Ball, let's pull from the back. Please be cool. We got uh, another Jalen Smith. And I don't know what this could be. It could be anything. Got a Derek Rose Astro. Come on. Cool card. Cool card. Cool. Oh. It's upside down. So it would either be a Galactic or a Vet Auto. Hmm. Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr. All right. I didn't know uh, we'd be finding ourselves a Steve Kerr Auto today, but we did. Obviously the uh, the best player from that Bulls team back in the in the nineties there carried Jordan Pippen to uh, some championships there. And I think I only have rookie top loaders. All right, you know what? For now, he's going in a, in a rookie top loader. Is it his rookie? No, but I realize I, it's all the only ones I have. Didn't replenish my regular stock yet. Top loaders are still very scarce, but we are on the board with an auto. And let's get another one right here. Why not, right? So nice we get him twice. Another Steve Kerr auto pops out. All right, what shall we find in this last pack of Revolution? It is, I think, a numbered card. I'm ready for Anthony Edwards. I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't know. Not a rookie. You know what? I feel like I should have guessed that when I saw the D apostrophe. How many names have a D apostrophe in the NBA? D'Angelo Russell. It's definitely the first one that comes to mind. And in addition to that, how many of them are in the set? Because it's a smaller set. It's not like Prism with 300. But there's D'Angelo Russell, 21 to 50 cubic. All right, now for some Excalibur. And this was actually one of my more favorite products when I first started collecting. This one had those kabooms. And one of the very first group breaks I joined was an Excalibur break. I think it was... The year after this one, I believe. And it actually did pretty well. I got the, I guess the case hit at the time. And I also got entered in some like drawing. So I was pretty happy. And then after that, I did pretty poorly on the, my next one. But, um, yeah, let's see what we can get here. Jakar Sampson. I miss a uh, Nick Smello. And another rookie. Okay, Clay Anthony Early. This would be in Bede's class, so Jabari Parker. I mean, if this was 14-15, I like Jabari Parker. I was uh, definitely a fan of him. He had those the ACL injury, you know, he got hurt, but I liked him. I have a Jabari Parker shirt. I remember I bought when he was 
drafted to the Bucks. I was a fan of his for sure. And I, and I still like Jabari, but didn't uh, pan out as that number two pick as we all expected. Damian Lillard juggernauts. And we'll put these guys right here. Got a Bogut. Is that the red or something like that? And then there's Nobility Magic Johnson. All right. Put these here. And I don't think that's numbered. Yeah. All right. Next one up. Now the Kabooms, the Downtowns, some of my more favorite case hits, and some of the more popular ones that they make today. There's a lot of different case hits. You know, there's uh, Aurora and Court Kings. There's some, some I'm not remembering. I'm sure there's a bunch of others. I know there's a bunch of others, but I can't remember them. But I think the uh, Kaboom and the Downtowns are definitely some of the better ones. Clint Capella. That's, that's not bad. Clint Capella for, uh, well, now he's a Hawk, was a Rocket, and then beat here. All right. Not. Put that there. Clint Capella is not, not terrible. The big the big men get no love. Speaking of big men there, Tim Duncan. There's a Willis Reed, Nobility, and Clay Thompson. Willis Reed paving the way for now. Uh, Harden just randomly being hurt and then playing. And um, maybe we'll see it some more, but there we go. All right. Last pack of Excalibur, and then we get to the hoops. I really want one of those uh, Lamella or Ant specials. That'd be really cool. If we could pull one of those, that'd be dub. Colossal dub. Oh, we have one of these little things there. Got Clay. Got, I remember him at the mountain, pretty much. Drummond. Ruby. I remember when he was super hyped. Me and all, me and all my guys uh, back in, we were in like high school. We, we were like, oh, he's the next big thing. Better than Jordan. Maybe, maybe we were incorrect on that. Slam Inc. Julius Irving. We thought it was pretty cool, though. And uh, there's Pau Gasol, another guy from Spain there. And there's Alec Burks. But yeah, Rubio was pretty cool. Like, the long hair. He's a young guy. And uh, yeah, I remember we all liked Rubio a lot. All right, so now we have some 2021 hoops. Then we get to this stack with 1920 hoops. And then we get into some pretty juicy stuff. Uh, what is in here? Anything? I see something shiny. I'm not too sure what that is. I'm ready for monster though. What is that? Oh, it might just be an insert. I hope I didn't just troll us. Yeah, it is. Sorry guys. I saw some goldish, but that's just the warriors uh, colors there. Steph Curry, sometimes in a hurry. Lucky Curry is, is very lucky. I'm not talking about on the court. I'm talking about in our breaks. Steph Curry is, is just different. Lucky Curry. Yeah. Lucky Curry is a, is a legend. Maybe we can use him today. We get a redemption from something. I don't want to over-exhaust him. You play these guys too much, they could get hurt. Filler's getting hurt. Filler's out with a day-to-day. Five brews, who knows. Clay. Got a lot of warriors, I feel like. Riller, and is this? I'll take a Halliburton. Nice. There we go. I've ripped a lot of hoops, and I pulled uh, I pulled a couple, especially one very big card from hoops. And speaking of that card, stay tuned for a, a future mail day. But yeah, hoops has been pretty cool to us. Uh, what is this? Let's see, numbered card here to six ninety nine, George Mikan. And there we go. Numbered card will go here. And last last couple. But hoops has some. Some very rare, cool cards. Like those hoops, one of ones. I love them because it's their first you know, NBA card. Oh no, we got trolled. I thought that wasn't. I know. Yeah. All right. It's Paul George. There we go. Hypnotized. And Cole Anthony and Josh Green. He is. Given his name, I, I saw people saying that uh, the new pandemic P is uh, Porzingis. He, but um, Paul George, and he's he's Paul George right now. Played well. All right, last couple of this hoops here. Come on, I want to see. Hmm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna troll us. All right, Maladone and Killian Hayes and Naismith. All right, all right, final pack from this stack. And then we get there, and we're rhyming accidentally again. 
Um, do we have some fire in here? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I think we just have a purple. Do we? Yeah, purple and green is a rookie. It is. Naismith. I'll take that. Thank you. Desmond Bain. Ooh, power pack here. And Cassius Stanley. Bain gets to go in here because he's Bain. Who are the strongest rookies to enter the league? You know, as a rookie, who are the strongest ones? Like Zion. Bain is is pretty. I mean, look at this guy. Seriously. Is he not up there? Dude. Not in a weird way, but like I know I say this a lot, but I'm like, every time I see that picture, I'm just like, like, bro. But like, who are the most, you know, I guess like jack dudes ever enter the league? Especially for young guys. Like Zion, like 19. Doesn't Bain still a young guy, so. Props to them. All right, we'll get this open. Nice and easy. Here we go. All right, what do we have in here? Now, hoops, format-wise, changed after this year, where they give us two rookies at the end of the pack. And that is... that is I like I don't mind that, but um, it's definitely different from this set here, where you kind of have the rookies just floating all over the place. So there's a Langford and Chris Paul. And there's Zion. Hello. Speaking of Zion, there's Pandemic P and Olenek. All right, let's sleeve up Mr. Zion. I missed those rookie premiere shots because we don't have pictures like this anymore. You know? Got the sevens on. Like, I missed that. Now we have, you know, some Photoshop stuff. I mean, I, I assume it'll go back to normal at some point. I don't know if this next class will be a Photoshop class or not. I really hope they get a premiere going, but who knows? A photo shoot. I mean... They get a lot of cool, cool pictures at those those photo shoots. So definitely wouldn't mind seeing those again. All right. We've got Dwayne Dedman, Jarrett Culver, and got a Sekou we got next. Put these guys here. Clint Capella. And there we go. Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder, whenever he's, I guess, not with LeBron, Drilling threes. I remember he was with the Cavs and he couldn't buy a three. And all of a sudden, he every other team, every time I see him shoot, swish. Kobe time. These are anthology ones. You can get autos. They're very rare. But these are really cool packs. I want to put together the whole entire set at some point. So one pack at a time, I guess. So Kobe. 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 Magic C is just an autograph. Pop out. Kobe. And Kobe. Look at these moments. All-star Kobe. Stance. You'll see the back of these, actually. Kobe being bright. That's, that's pretty cool. They made this set, I think, and they included these packs in... Was it 12, 13? Kind of 12, 13-ish, 14-ish, somewhere around there. They would include these packs in boxes, and they're pretty cool. You can find some really cool cards in, in those autographs. I think, like, maybe some patch stuff, but uh, we'll put these here, right? All right, time for a Prism Cello. Now, these treated me very well last time I opened them. I hope they continue to do so because you know, I think I think we're on good terms. I think we're friends. All right? I hope. I haven't seen them in, in you know, a month or two, but maybe they can still uh, be hospitable, take care of us here. All right, let's open this pack. Should get a green and a silver, I believe, and then that one we should get those three red, white, and blues. I'm ready for a Lamello or a Bane. Or an ant. Or bean. And put these there. There's a jaw. Year two jaw. That counts for something. Got Bagley. And there we go. Year three Bagley. Tyler Hero. Year two. Everyone just year something. Eric Gordon. Year, I don't know, year 12, 13. I don't know. Then Jimmy Butler. Don't mind the lighting spazzing out because these cards are kind of dark. But there's a Killian Hayes. We got Langston Galloway and Tower Bay. All right. The light should be done spazzing for now, at least till we get to the, the next prism. So, bonus pack. It's not really a bonus. They give it, I mean, you're guaranteed these. Let's see what we can get here. I believe that last card will be our, our potential rookie. Michael Porter Jr., Shea Gilgis Alexander, rookie. Okay, okay, okay. No one move. 
Golden State War. Is it? Is it? it? No way. No way it is. It can't be. It can't be. Oh, it, it isn't. It's Nico Mannion. I thought we were about to pull our, what, four millionth Wiseman? If you're wondering why there's no Wiseman cards in the market, is because I own every single one. I pulled them all. Every box, one Wiseman. Every pack, two Wisemans. Every, just sitting there doing nothing, three Wisemans. All right, so we have these Prism first off the lines, then we'll get into these Court Kings. Yeah, let's do the Prism. It is, it's not been a good year for me and Prism. Uh, thanks to Impeccable, I was able to put those, some of those Prism rips behind us. Some of you guys are mentioning after the Prism Prism stuff, it's been nice to see some stuff like the Impeccable one. But man, Prism thought we were uh, thought we were cool. Definitely not. And there we go. All right, come on, cool cards, cool cards, please. Another Jaw Year Two. Wow, another Marvin Bagley Year Three. Can the Heat ever seize? Oh, oh, is it? Okay, well, Marcus Aldridge, year something. And we got Jason Tatum, fireworks. Kyrie Irving. All right, let's see. RJ Barrett. Isaac Okoro. Poor guy. Missing that hairline. Year two, RJ Barrett. Year one, Okoro. Year one, Maxi. Year, what, like five? I don't know, six? Booker? Imagine if someone can name all the years just by looking at them. You're, you're truly a legend. All right, another pack here. Now, maybe we can get a Shimmer. I would love a Shimmer. Shimmer would be really nice. And then it ends up being Malik Beasley. No hit against Malik Beasley. It's just that every time we pull a Shimmer, it's Malik Beasley. Oh, I think we do have a Shimmer here in the back. A blue Shimmer. So nice. Another Malik to the collection. Got Millsap. Jeff Green. Terry. JJ Barea. All right, let's see what we got here. Red Wave. Houston Rockets. KJ Martin wouldn't be too bad. I, I wouldn't mind that, but I doubt it is. Yeah. Fool me once, but fool me twice. James Harden and... How did I know? Phoenix Suns, Cam Johnson. Beautiful year two, $1,000 Cam Johnson. That's a three of 125. Cool. All right, put that... Numbered card there. LeBron James. Uh, widescreen, I believe that was. Yeah. Isaiah Stewart. Cantor. All right, is this going to be... Now, which vet? Quickly, uh, pause it, comment down below. Which vet are we getting here? Miami Heat. Oh, it could be Hero. It could be Butler. Derek Jones Jr. How did I know it wasn't a rookie? Oh, it's Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson's Prism Rookie. Can I get a boom in the chat, please? As everyone spams boom. 17 to 35. Mm -mm -mm. Duncan Robinson. That's a, that's summed up Prism. We defied the odds. We pulled a couple thousand bets. All right, here we go. We got one more bonus shimmer. I think not. Not too late to hook us up with a really nice. I think we have an auto here. No, do, no. Ah, oh, sorry, guys. We don't have an auto here. Thought we did for a second. Karis Levert. Prism, dude. And, oh, Luca. Actually, I'll take that. Luca Downtown Silver. I will take that. Put, we'll sleep him. Oh, and Luca again. So nice we got him twice. We'll put them uh, both here. They'll. Get a, he'll get a sleeve in a second. Tyler Bay. Kawhi. Azabuki. Alright, and there we go. So we'll pop these guys down there. Silver Luka does get himself a sleeve as well as that other one. And now we get into the ones that kind of guarantee us um, some... Oh, sorry Luka. Some juice. Alright. So let's start with this this big box topper. This is... This comes with Court Kings, and this is like ginormous. Um... Don't even know how the dimension of this thing, but very large. I'll say that. So they can be autographed, not often, but they can be. So let's see what we get in here. Got to be careful because it's a very thin card, a giant pack, and uh, you bend this thing the wrong way, and it is getting crumpled. All right. 
Now, I don't even know what I would protect this with. I mean, I have nothing that would fit a card this size. Okay. Turn it back this way. Let's see what we can get. It is... A Boyk Griffin. Empty, ginormous thing there. Uh, yeah, so there you go. It's Blake. Just, that's it. It's just Blake. All right, cool. <laughs> so there's your, uh, your box topper. I think these come in 16 box cases. Maybe all those are one per. Which one thing I like about Court Kings is you get, like, there's so many different case hits to find. So I guess these guys will have to scoot to the side while this monster ginormous card goes here. All right, now this is our actual Court Kings pack. I think guarantees an auto and a mem. Probably a rookie or rookie or two. And maybe we can get a case hit insert. The case hits are a little different in this year's Court Kings. All right. Dario Saric. Dario Saric. Got Nicholas Batum. So this year's pretty cool. We've got the art theme. Frank Mason. Yippee. And that Frank Mason is a level one. Okay. What do we have here? Gortat. Points in the paint. So this insert set is always, we always see this one. We are very familiar with it. There we go. Points in the paint. Uh, not numbered or anything, but. And Alonzo Ball till we fall. What is that? Is that a two? Three. Lonzo level three. I'll take that. Thank you. And let's see what we have here. Should be an autograph. Psych. Not an autograph. Got you guys. Let's quickly sleeve the uh, Alonzo. There should be an autograph somewhere. Do I know where it is? I do not. As long as we get it at some point, that'd be good though. All right. We have a John Collins. Good player. Is this a parallel of some sort? Rookie. Like a portrait rookie. To 10. Hello there. Very nice. John Collins to 10. I didn't think a green would be to 10, to be honest, but you're not going to hear a complaint from me. Oh. Nice. So kind of a thicker card because you get that little portrait. Pretty much just the card. They put a little gray piece of cardboard on top of it. But hey, you know what? It's, it's nice. One of 10. All right. I will take that. Thank you. Uh, this is a, this is our autograph? Oh, there we go. This is our autograph. We have a Josh Jackson, fresh paint. Was a Grizzly. We let him go. I was against that. And then he plays well in, in Detroit. Sounds about right. But best of luck to him. Show some, some good flashes. And he's actually a rookie, so he'll fit perfectly in this rookie top loader. Rookie card. Josh Jackson. All right, that 17-18 class has some good players, for sure. So there we go. Let's see what else we have in this one here. Ryan Anderson, yes, to 2.99. Whoo, sheesh. And that is a uh, game worn, or should I say bench worn? I'm, I'm playing. Sorry, Ryan. There we go. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon. And are these just base cards? And Derek Rose. All right, so that does it. We got the Collins of 10, so that's actually not bad. I'll take that. Okay. These are just... How many base cards do we have? We have four base cards? No parallel or anything? All right. Interesting. I feel like when you get this few cards, you shouldn't get four base cards. Maybe one's a parallel and I'm missing it. I'll look through after, but... So many base cards, you only get like 10 cards. All right, now for this one here. This is going to guarantee us two cards numbered to eight. Very, uh... Expensive pack, but you get a Zion or a Ja or an RJ or something like that. And it's a very, very nice. All right, let's see the first one here. Jarrett Culver. Oh, hmm. I don't know. That might be your best one, probably, because Culver, especially at the time, was a pretty good one to get. Now, not so much. He kind of fell out of favor there a little bit. Fell out of the rotation a tiny bit, but interesting. Seven of eight. <clears throat> and Nikhil. Three of eight. There you go. Actually, you know, funny enough, I actually like the Nikhil more. A Culver is like 
what, the sixth pick in the draft or fifth pick in the draft? Something like that. Nikhil, right now, I would say I have higher hopes for. I should probably top load these. All right, and then we get to the final one, which uh, is the juiciest of all the packs we've had so far. That would be Crown Royale first off the line, and it would have a parallel to 21. Uh, what else would it have? The autograph, which is short printed something. I, I don't know, but so something. And yeah, so let's see what we have. In conclusion, we're going to get something, hopefully. So wish us luck. Crown, one of my more favorite sets. It's a cool looking set. And I like the die cuts. Conditions can sometimes be eh. But let's see what we have in store. Got the Great Wall. Got Miles Bridges. Isaac Okoro. Nice. And Isaac Okoro. Nice. Cole Anthony, heirs to the throne. Drop these guys here. And then this should be our autograph. It is Tyler Bay. And this Cole Anthony is not numbered. Put this, where should we put this? Put it here. I should, I'll get it. I have a sleeve for it cut, but let's see. And then this one. Oh, uh oh, they're all sliding together. Is a Devin Booker, 89 and 99. So there's Tyler Bay. I think last time we got Sadiq Bay. Or maybe yeah. So we got all we're getting all the bays. Alright, we have our green to 21 on the back. We'll put this here. Every card shaped like a little crown. And alright, our final one. Is it a rookie? I don't know where I would check. It's not. It's Wendell Carter Jr. to 21. So is that eight or is that nine? 89 of 99 and four of 21. All right. Okay, so that was no way to end things. That was not the best pack and uh, Crown definitely did not deliver. So I do have several of these and I originally was going to put this in here instead of the Court Kings from 1718. But I thought, why not, why not try one more, give it one more go? It's not the best idea. Definitely no guarantee we'll get anything, but I do have some more of these. And I once again, I've been really uh, itching to open these. So let's see if we can get anything. Um, yeah, Crown. Usually it's pretty good, and uh, that one's not very good. So maybe one more can, can do us some, some justice, but it doesn't hurt to, to try one more time. Let's see if we can get anything. And wish us some luck. Okay. We, we certainly have something here. And I think I just spoiled one of our cards, but let's see what we have. We have a redemption and a kaboom, I believe. But we have Steph Curry, got Jalen Brown. If that, oh my, Lucky Curry might have to come into play. Got a Pritchard. Is it the next card? It might be. All right, let's see who this is. Mavericks. Got a Luka Doncic kaboom. Kaboom! <laughs> Oh wow, and we still oh I don't know who that redemption will be. Redemptions from this product. We ripped up we ripped a lot of the, of Crown, obviously. And Lomelo's a redemption, Luca's a redemption, one of the first products he signed in, in a long time. I don't know who else is a redemption, but I know other guys are too. But big kaboom. Kaboom. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's get this guy a a sleeve. That's my first uh kaboom hit, and actually I ran out of sleeves. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Luka Doncic, kaboom. Let's uh, get him a sleeve. So maybe, maybe we have a Zion auto. You know, Luka brought Luka. And uh, maybe Zion can bring Zion. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful card right there. Let's put that there. And let's pick these back up. And let's see what else we have here. Oh, I picked up this base Pritchard. All right. Oh, we know what this one is. It's a CJ Ellaby. So, okay. Kaboom. And then we have an RJ Hampton to 99 rookie royalty. Uh, not a rookie. Miles Turner to 12 of 21. Okay. That uh, Hampton is pretty cool. I'll put that there. And let's get... 
I hate to call him back in again on, on very short rest, but I really don't have any other option. It really just comes down to to Curry or Blank Filler. Maybe we should give Blank Filler a chance, but let's see who this redemption is. Basketball. Crown Royale. Regal Achievement Signatures first off the line. I don't even know. I think that's a vet set. It is card 19. Luka Doncic. <laughs> okay, he's he's going to be a uh, featured card much more often. Uh, we got a Luka Doncic auto. That should be to 17, I think. I think all cards uh, for the vets are to 17. So that box is quite incredible. Luka and Luka. So as I was saying, this would be uh, Luka's first auto back in product since I think like early 1920 when they were using up some of those uh, last stickers. But wow, that is a very, very big card. And in addition to that, kaboom there. I probably should have top loaded that one. I did not. But, um, wow. Interesting. What a box. We'll put these here. And we have uh, a nice, nice little recap in store. So, first things first, we have a Blake Griffin, just a, what does that say? Panoramics? Panoramics. Blake Griffin from uh, Court Kings. The only thing that you're really looking out for those, uh, I guess, in those Court Kings ones is autograph ones. I don't think there's anything too crazy outside of that. But here's the everything else stack. And yeah, wow. <laughs> wow. I, I don't know what to say. That was awesome. I was about to say, we've seen a lot of Crown Royale boxes. Usually they're not that bad. And we ripped the whole case and that's like probably the worst box we've seen. Um, uh, of crown or pack of crown hmm that, that was more like it all right so we have all these kind of everything else a lot of tyler bay this is definitely a mavs tyler bay kind of a break here or opening coro got some prism rookies i kind of just put maybe a bunch of stuff that should have probably made the highlight stack in this stack and you guys probably see me put some cards in this stack that are better than cards in that stack and you're like what are you doing i don't know Sometimes we just get out of hand with these piles, but uh, yeah, just inserts and rookies here and it's kind of all slipping. Those chrome cards with those paper cards, when they're together, they kind of get a little slippery, but they all start sliding out and that this stack is, yeah, I see it keep drooping down. Uh, here we go, Luca. Wow, I I'm really excited to take a take a look at this one. Now this video, this recording has already been very long, so I don't want to, I, I wanted to kind of get through it and let me get this bottom card up. Ah, can't get it. There we go. Sorry, Joe. So here's a, a recap. We got the Monster LB, which is definitely the hit of the box. And got a Luka Doncic Regal Achievement Signatures first off the line. I don't know what that set... I don't remember what it looks like. We pulled some before. Might be one of that those... It's definitely a die cut. Um, I have an idea kind of what it looks like. We have pulled... We might have pulled this exact card. I don't know. But we've, we've opened a lot of Crown before, so we, uh, we've we seen some of these cards before. Huge Luka Doncic autograph. My first Luka hit myself, ever. I opened a lot of 18, 19, never, never pulled one. Got the RJ Hampton. And got a Kaboom Luka. So, I mean, Luka seems to always be in these really good boxes. Because I think we hit a Kaboom. Maybe it was Kaboom and a Luka auto in another one. Maybe I'm mistaken, but Pac-Man Breaks channel, we, we ripped a lot of it. And that is truly excellent. Kaboom Luka. Then we have... Probably the worst box or pack of crown ever made. Yeah, this pack, uh, this box, not not too good. Tyler Bay. Tyler Bay's the highlight. Huh. Yikes. But that one made up for it quickly. Got a Culver and Nikhil to eight. I like the Nikhil. Got a beautiful, beautiful jersey card of Ryan Anderson. That's that's a masterpiece. Josh Jackson on card. And then a rookie of John Collins to ten. And Alonzo Ball, level three. And it was a Luka break. We got a lot of Luka. Two more Lukas. Got Duncan Robinson, Prism Rookie, Fire, Kaboom, Monster, and Kobe's, Zion, Bane, Paul George. He's earned, he's earned his name back. D'Angelo Russell, Steve Kerr, Sabin Lee, LeBron James, and John Morant, which has to go in this pile because it's John Morant. But very... Very cool stuff. And get these out the way. Here is some highlights. 
I can never, geez, I'm, I'm fumbling these things. All right, here we go. So I think I picked too many. All right, did I pick too many? Maybe. But we got to, I mean, that was, we probably had the worst and one of the best boxes of crown in the same, in the same video, which is absolutely nuts. But here's some cool cards. How I to buy these, these two right here. Absolutely excellent. And uh, crown, crown and revolution, two of my favorites to rip. Prism used to be in that mix and then Prism went the bed. So maybe not, maybe not Prism, but uh, wow. Very, very cool stuff. I can't believe a Luca Auto and hopefully he signs. Him and Lamelo. who signs first? Who knows? And then Luca Kaboom to highlight it all. But very fun stuff. If you guys like these random hobby packs, drop a like in the video, subscribe, uh, share, comment. We'll definitely do some more. A lot of fun stuff. And um, yeah, I always, always enjoy making these. Hopefully you guys like them too. Instagram there. Pac-Man cards and a lot of more stuff uh, coming like, let's see, new product releases. I should have, you know, maybe a month from now, another random hobby packs. Uh, we got some mail days, some cool cards coming in very soon. So stay tuned. A lot of fun stuff and appreciate you guys support as always. And um, put it simply, kaboom. A Luka kaboom. Wow. My first kaboom hit and my first uh, Luka auto I pulled myself. So really awesome stuff. And uh, crown. Thank you, crown. Thank you. Thank you, crown. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.